Does this face look familiar to you? If it does, then you are likely a fan of horror movies. Throughout her career, Linnea Quigley has specialized in a certain type of scary flick. You know the ones I'm talking about. They typically have lower budgets, but lots of gore. And most importantly, these movies never take themselves too seriously. Yep, we're talking about B-movies. And Linnea, my friends, for decades has been the reigning scream queen of those particular flicks. Three of them with Linnea in it that immediately come to mind from the 80s are Silent Night, Deadly Night, The Return of the Living Dead, and Sorority Babes in the Slime Ballarama. Definitely not family-friendly movies. Stuff that you'd more likely see at a drive-in with a group of friends if you were a young adult and had nothing better to do. And I've got to admit, I have never seen any of these movies in their entirety. Still, way back then, I was very much aware of Linnea. How could I not be? While Jamie Lee Curtis and Adrian Barbeau both seem to only reluctantly acknowledge belonging to the Scream Queen sorority, Linnea celebrated the title, dare I say even cherished it. And much like the movies that she starred in, she never took herself too darn seriously. Case in point, this lovely video, Linnea Quigley's Scream Queen Workout. During the late 80s and early 90s, it seemed like every celebrity had their own workout video. So it only makes sense that America's B-movie Scream Queen would have her own as well, right? Around the same time Linnea started hitting the talk show circuit, I remember seeing her on Chuck Woolery's show, and I know she was on others as well. And it was in this more serene setting that I realized that I had seen Linnea elsewhere. Don't move or you won't look good for the class pictures. What are you doing? You smell good. I what, Joey? Will you let me finish? Hey, your friend is so fresh. That's close-up. Close-up toothpaste? Why do you think they call it close-up? It's got real mouthwash to freshen my breath, and it gets my teeth as white as they can be. There, take a look. Nope. I'd rather look at you. Whiter teeth, fresh breath. Why do you think they call it close-up? Prior to finding her special niche in the film world, Linnea had been a struggling actress, willing to take whatever role necessary to put food on the table. Truthfully, I think she's pretty darn compelling in that commercial. But something definitely seemed missing. Maybe a chainsaw or a good machete. I don't know. What I do know is that I've done enough yapping. Let's figure out what Linnea has been up to since her glory days in the 80s. Or maybe I should have said gory days. First and foremost, Linnea has never stopped working. Over the past couple of decades, she has consistently and enthusiastically found work in B-movie after B-movie. Like I said earlier, Linnea has embraced the title of Scream Queen and made the very most out of it. And I've got to say, kudos to her for doing so. She also loves connecting with her fans at the various conventions that she is invited to. Linnea's official Twitter feed has many photos of her with fans, and in those pictures, it always seems like she's having as much fun as they are. Speaking of Linnea's Twitter feed, if you are a fan of her work, you absolutely have to check it out as she is very active on it. If she's not posting, she's retweeting something someone else has posted. It's a great way to catch up and really learn about what's on her mind. One thing that has always been extremely important to Linnea is caring for animals. A longtime vegan, this lady does what she can to raise money for the care of all kinds of creatures. You know, the friendly ones, both big and small. Linnea has also been working on a new series called Paranormal Truth, which she says is an unsolved mysteries documentary type of show that deals with zombies and vampires and different things like The Legend of Boggy Creek. As a longtime fan of Bigfoot, I can't wait to see her tackle that topic in a future episode. So there you go. That's what happened to Linnea Quigley. All right, one last picture. Let's go all the way back to the mid 80s and Return of the Living Dead. Typically, Linnea is a blonde in her movies, but in this one, she was a punky redhead. So, do you enjoy horror movies? And if so, are you a fan of Ms. Quigley's work? Let me know in the comment section and while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love a thumbs up and I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. 
But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.